of people watching yes, at home. We are joined um, by two additional Machete members, part of our Machete group chat. We have the amazing Carrie Champion. You all pew, know pew, Carrie pew. Champion. What she up, has Carrie? done amazing work in media and sports. She's constantly calling me, asking me to explain something sports related to her. It's exhausting. <laughs> but she is uh, an, um, amazing. You've seen Carrie everywhere. I call her the catwalk assassin. You can see why. And she bad. She bad. The, uh, my bad. sister in journalism, Erin uh, Haynes. I know you all see her, and so many people tell me how much they enjoy Erin Haynes, who is the face of the 19th. Please check out her newsletter uh, and that platform. But so many people, Erin, always tell me how amazing you are on television. And I was telling Angela on the way here, I'm like, they don't even know the real Erin. Because as great as she is on Child. MSNBC. Hold on, ATL. East, listen, <laughs> listen, Southwest Atlanta, Erin. Be real okay. clear. This is a SWATS. Fifi, me, Erin. The SWATS, Erin, is, is a SWATS, whole baby. other level. She is the wittiest and funniest oh my God. in our group chat. That's and, right. And, but also just so smart, your scope on things. So it is, I just feel like this is a dream to it have is. all the machetes. Why would you, we had that? a machete uh, roll call Android. with Kamala's roll call. That's I right, come on. Just a technical thing. Um, t uh, who are you? Um, Brittany um, and Carrie are going to yes, share this mic. I was going to say Aaron. You guys oh, you are can, sharing that mic. Yeah, you okay, can lift great. up your little, uh, your little piece. Lift this yeah. oh, You're going to share that hand my hand to see. Yes. I'm so sorry my thickness is pushing you out. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. You're not that thick. You're not that thick. You don't have to tell the people that. Okay. One cheek. One cheek. Let's start with Aaron and we'll work our way down. I Aaron, love it. Um, as, as a journalist, uh, you take a, a different scope of things. Um, what, what does this moment mean for you? Because I, I feel like some people enter this space as a journalist, some people enter this space as a woman, some people enter this space as a black person. Where are you right now in what order? Oh, you got to unmute her oh, mic. Oh, Lord, I was so in the All moment. Right. Okay. Okay. Come on, Ginger. Wow, too bad. I'm better. so in the no, moment. Right. I'm, listen, Reclaim your listen, time. Listen to black women. I'm speaking. We got What's you. Happening? We got you. Wow. I'm speaking. Wow. I'm at the footstool. Exactly. From Freaknik to the DNC. Here I am. <laughs> Here we go. She's not kidding. <laughs> no, but I mean, it, listen. Um... I'm all of those things, obviously, at once. I bring all those lived identities to who I am as a journalist. Don't apologize for that. But, Love it. you know, I really thought about, you know, boarding my plane to Chicago on Sunday. Sunday was the 104th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which is the amendment for which my newsroom is named. Uh, an amendment which guaranteed the right for some, but not all women. Not black The right women. to vote. Hello. We had to fight twice as hard for even longer. Yeah. Uh, before we had our full access of, to the franchise, we're still fighting, yeah. right? Uh, our, our access to this democracy still being challenged. Uh, you see that. <laughs> we could have seen that this week coming into this convention, right, which could have been a contested convention, open convention. That's not what we're seeing here. We are seeing a Democratic Party that is unified behind a black woman who could become the first woman president of the United States. That is not a moment that we necessarily saw coming when we started the 19th, five year, four year, almost five years ago. Literally, the 19th started after the 2016 election when we saw these tired tropes around electability, around readiness, around ambition, right? And we knew that there was a different way to talk about women, to talk about our leadership, to talk about gender and our politics in this country and the emerging small d democracy that you talked about so much, Tiffany, that you continue to talk about. So, yeah, I mean, I come to a convention where the diversity that I'm seeing in the arena is, is, is reflected on stage as well as in the audience. That's not something that I saw just a month ago at the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee that is striking to me. I think we know it's real, but to see it happening, uh, to see it in, in reality, a true representative democracy really yeah. in this arena, and abortion, which we knew was on the ballot was on stage last night. That's, that's, that's really right. remarkable to think yeah. about. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 uh, as a journalist, this is just a remarkable moment to cover. As a black woman, I am thinking about everybody from Shirley Chisholm to Jesse Jackson to, I mean, just so many people that paved the way for this moment to be possible. Min Mignon Moore, Donna Brazile, uh, Leah Daughtry, Yolanda Caro. I mean, all just front and center in this moment. They helped to manifest the moment in which we now find ourselves. And as a journalist, I mean, I can't not mention them yeah. in this conversation. So, yeah, um, there's a lot there. And uh, obviously, the 19th is feeling pretty good about, <laughs> you know, yes. the idea that we had four years ago because it's all on full display yeah. this week. And your coverage is constantly beautiful. 
so good. It is, also yeah. the host of the Amendment <clears throat> Podcast, which we didn't yes. say. And speaking of co- podcast hosts, we also have Carrie Champion here. We got all here. the podcast hosts. All the here. podcast <laughs> hosts. But we also have Carrie Champion here. What I love about you being here, Carrie, is this isn't something where you had to come. You felt compelled to come. I know you have that headset on, but if you don't mind picking up that mic, uh-huh. <laughs> I'd love to talk to you about... What made you want to be here? And Andrew Gillum, just because the women are occupied with six of these seats, wow. need to weigh in here. Double Dutch, man. He, he, wow. for, for I'm some, taking in. You got to listen first. First and foremost, thank you guys for having me. I was just with, I'm standing. I just want to talk about my machetes for a minute. I'm standing out front. I'm waiting for someone to bring me a, a credential. And who do I see just walk up on me? It was like, no, I got you. Follow me. I have a pass. We so are in sync with one another. Of all the people that I could see standing in front of the United Center, Aaron walks up on me and gives me, of all the people, and it was just like, I love you so much. I love this. I love this sisterhood. I love what you all are doing. You all know that. Andrew, I love you. Thank you, sis. And I love I love Britt because she's letting one of my butt cheeks just kind of... <laughs> It's yet holding on. We both got one. It is yet holding on. Yeah. This is the workout for the day. Yes. So I, I, I am a CNN contributor, but I did not have to come. But yeah. I was like, if I miss this moment, I miss I miss Barack's moment. But if I miss this moment, this to me felt so substantial and so bigger than us. And I felt like this appointment in which Kamala Harris has in this moment felt divine. It is a testimony to everything can happen. In a, in a blink of an in eye, a blink Over, of eye. overnight, my God is so real. And so I was able to witness what happened to this woman. Three, four, five months ago, nobody could have told me this is where we would be. That's right. yeah. And in, a, in an instant, I am sitting here and I'm all like, this is a testimony to those who believe and who have chosen. Yeah. So what's meant for you is meant for you. And no one can take it away from you. And I'm watching in real time. And so I had to be here because I live that. I believe that. We all do. We've been in these moments. And it's something special. In my world of sports, as we all know, I said this, it's not an accident where you have these two entities where the women's athletics has taken off in a way in which we have never seen before. That's right. Yeah. And then we and we look at women in the world fighting and we're saying, and I've said this before, not on my damn watch. Yeah. You want to take away these things bit by bit. You played your hand. You overplayed your hand. And now we are here and we are righteous and we are taking back what is ours. There is this idea in sports that everyone needs a good a good story a good mm. rivalry story always needs a, a, a really good person and they need a foil yeah. right they need a good athlete and they need a foil but in this instance women black women are the foil we are taking it we're taking it back you thought you were the superhero but the story is ours Ooh. and Sweet. i am Love so that. grateful to be here and I'm more excited because I thought I was coming on tomorrow, but you, since you guys had me on today, I'm, I'm just wow. hanging out. Butt cheek and all. One butt cheek and all. <laughs> well, we are so grateful, y'all. We promise y'all we needed only about five minutes of your time. So we're going to let y'all head on out. Latasha got people to see and things to do. We Hello. got some uh, other guests coming up. But we are so, so grateful for y'all. Love, y'all. Love the Shetties. Shout out to the Shetties. This is our moment. Yes. <laughs>